Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rosario here again for Visa Nation, and today we're going to be taking a look at the dungeon, the Chamber of Insanity. Now, there's no set quest path to going through each dungeon in this game. You're pretty much free to choose whichever dungeon you feel like doing at any time. So I felt I would show you what the Chamber of Insanity is like. One, because it has a real cool name. Two, because in this quest you will be working for some dwarves, and I have an odd fondness for dwarves for no real reason. And three, because this is a little more challenging than the last dungeon I reviewed, and I wanted to step it up just a little bit. Now, you will find this quest in the bar, located in the dwarves' home city named House Kondrak, and the Chamber of Insanity is haunted by powerful wraiths, whose gibbering voices have driven strong warriors to madness. And your objectives are going to be to locate four shades throughout the dungeon and destroy them. You have the shade of madness, the shade of despair, the shade of hatred, and last but not least, the shade of agony. Now after you destroy all of these shades, you are faced with the final objective, and that will be to slay the soulless one. Now let's talk about a few things that you will have to expect going throughout this dungeon. Like always, there will be traps, but these traps are fixed, so you cannot disarm them if you so happen to have a rogue in the party, or an artificer, or any class that has made disarming traps for one of their sole purposes in this game, because that can become a possibility. Also, another thing you will need to expect, and that is spawning and respawning monsters, so beware of those. And there is one last thing to expect as well, and that is runes. Now this is entirely optional to activate these runes, it will require you to have an intelligence check of 16 and a wisdom check of 16 as well. Let's talk a little bit about facts here. This is going to be a level 5 quest and it's of medium length. And the base experience you can earn for completing this quest will be 784 points on normal mode. And this dungeon is square shaped with a room in the center of it. In each of the four corners of this dungeon, you will be confronted with a poison trap and a shade after hitting the trigger. Once you've killed all four, you will have to defeat the soulless one, and then you will have the quest completed. Simple enough, right? Now I've rambled on far too long, let's get on with it, shall we? Okay guys, here we are. We are in the Chamber of Insanity, and I am not using my melee character for this. I am using my wizard and I w because I wanted to show you what a spellcaster was like in the game and also because I don't have a ghost touch weapon in my melee the weapon I'll we'll just go right in through the it. The chilled air of this compound is broken only by the unearthly groans of the cult's forgotten sacrifices. There was the narration from the dungeon master. You'll hear him quite often through this dungeon. It really helps with the flow of the dungeon and it keeps the quest moving along. So when you are doing this dungeon or any dungeon throughout the game it really helps and keep, stays true to the style of the original board uh, adventure game all right now we're coming up up to the first corner of this dungeon and we're going to pull this lever to open the door this is where the shed of madness will appear and to activate the shed of madness and these vents here will explode with poison you need to stand behind to avoid the poison you will need to stand behind this altar and then pull the lever now the shed of madness should appear there he is and we're just going to kill him These shades will uh, disappear and reappear behind you. That's where they do most of their damage when they are behind you. And so watch out for that when you are facing up against one of these shades. Alright, now we're going to move on. And we're going to clear out this hallway. And set everything on fire. That's a spell that a wizard can use called Firewall. And by running back and forth through it, the enemies chase you and then they run through it. And the undead are very prone to fires. And that's what Cultist these enemies the are. They're undead. At you gesturing madly with his hand and raving in an infernal tongue. Now, this is a good example of this being an action RPG where I targeted the enemy from way back there next to that door. The other enemy stepped in front of the 
line of fire of my spell and took the damage and that is something that will you will find in the majority of action style RPGs that you might play we're just gonna clean these guys up and move on into the next room all right got these guys cleared now in this room well no this is the second room and uh, you come around the corner here it's a good way to avoid the traps if you want it's where you want to be uh, standing when the traps go off is behind these corners and on the sides of the wall don't want to go into the center of it we're just going to kill the shade the shade of despair Alright, now we're just made short work of him. I am a much higher level than um, I'm supposed to be in this dungeon, but I just wanted to show you what a spellcaster was like and uh, let you see what how they play and how, how strong they can actually be at a little bit higher level. And there's 20 maximum levels in this game. Right here is the rest shrine. This is where you will come if you need to rest and uh, heal up or resurrect. And we're just going to kill this little guy that's trying to bug me. Now that spell I just used is called Fireball and it's one of my favorite spells as a wizard. And it does an AoE effect when hitting multiple targets. So keep that in mind if you're a wizard and in this game and you get the spell Fireball. Because it's very good as an AoE spell. And single target as well. It's very quite powerful. All right, now we're coming. Up, this is the third corner of the dungeon, and um, I'm just gonna pull this lever and open the door. You will notice that you have two runes on the wall. This one right here will require you to have an intelligence check of 16, which I'm gonna use because I have that, and a wisdom check of 16 for this rune, but which I don't have and I don't use. And between those runes is a secret door that will open, and there's a chest in there, and you cannot disarm the traps in it. So just let the traps do their thing and then once they're finished you can get garner the chest from behind the secret door now this is a shade of hatred and we're just going to kill him and move on into the last corner of this dungeon okay now we're just going to move on down this hallway to the uh, fourth corner of the dungeon where the shade of agony will appear and kill everything that's in her path with lots of fire. I love using fire spells. They are just really fun and awesome to use in my opinion. I'm going to attempt to use my long range there. Just my scorching ray on him just obliterated that guy. Alright. Let's, let's put up some walls of flame. Make them dance through fire. You can pick up a collectible right here from uh, this alchemy table. And f this is what I said in my last video. You can take these collectibles that drop off monsters and uh, use them for crafting and turn them into certain people around the world for really nice items. NPCs will collect them and ask you for them as you explore. This is the Shade of Agony. We're just going to kill him and we will be moving on to the last boss, the Soulless One. The last of the wraiths fades into nothingness and suddenly the air gains back a measure of warmth. In the distance you hear stone grating against stone. Alright, now you will notice we're at the beginning of the dungeon, and this is where the door to the Solus one will open up once you make it all through all four corners of the dungeon. So you're basically going in a circle, but technically a square. So keep that in mind when going throughout this dungeon. Now, this is the Solus one. He's guarded by two arcane skeletons. We're just going to set him on fire and blast him with lots of fire, and it's quite effective. The undead hate the fire. Gotta love the fireball. You can, right there is a good example of it being an AOE ability to hit all of them. Now this Solus one will has the same mechanics as the Shades do. He will appear and reappear behind you. 
to try to damage you, but I do quite a bit of damage and just pretty much own them. And that's it, guys. That's the dungeon. I hope you found this informative and uh, helpful if you ever come across this dungeon in this game. And remember to thumbs it up if you liked it or thumbs it down if you didn't. And if you have any positive or negative comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I've had fun with this, and I just want to thank you for watching. This has been Roz, and I'm signing out. See you guys.